Hey guys, welcome back. So the day has come, the day that I really, I didn't know if we were gonna, I didn't know if we were gonna get here. I didn't know if we were gonna get here, but we did. It's Aramis unboxing day, you guys. Now I will preface this by saying, I know a bunch of you, if you've seen my Why My Aramis Journey Is Over video, which I will link up here, I know a bunch of you probably think I'm a huge hypocrite. And yeah, I understand, I understand, but I will explain why I am not at the end of the video. I know you guys, you only care about the unboxing. I know this. So that's obviously going to be first, but then we'll go into depth. We'll, we'll talk about it. And also, as I'm sure you guys already know, there is nothing in this box. Indeed, I actually already posted the unboxing for this on my YouTube shorts. So definitely check out my YouTube shorts. There's actually a couple of Hermes unboxings there that I have not done like a full YouTube video for, but you guys know I had to make a full video on it, right? I'm a little late. I'm definitely a little late, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox my first Birkin. Yes, my first Birkin. Well, technically, it's not my first Birkin, but it's the first one that I have shown to the world. So it's my first revealed Birkin. So if you guys want to see my first, if you guys want to unbox my first Hermes Birkin bag with me, then please just keep on watching. But wait, you already know what I'm going to say. If you're not already subscribed, explain yourself. I post on Wednesdays. No, I don't. I gotta stop. I, it's like, as soon as I say explain yourself, I just wanna say I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays, but I clearly don't. You guys know I don't. I am really slowly trying to get back into YouTube. It's very hard for me. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I have been running a lot. I've been like super into running. All I wanna do is run all the time. Right now, as you can hear, I am sick, so I really don't have the option to be running. So this is what we're doing, okay? Definitely stay tuned. We have so many more unboxings to do so many more unboxings you guys like you're just not prepared for how many unboxings i have so definitely subscribe if you're not already but with all that out of the way let's jump into the video Okay, let's get into let's let's get into it. This is a Birkin 30 in Epsom leather with palladium hardware in the color rose confetti. I did tie a twilly on just one handle because I just like how that looks better than having it on both handles. I've actually discovered, and you guys will notice that as we go through the more unboxings that I have. I am really a twilly person. I thought I was never going to be a twilly person. I hated twillies. I also really don't like bag charms. That is still true. I know bag charms are like such a big deal right now. I still, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't like them. I don't even like the key and the clochette to be on it. It's not on this. It's not on any other bags that you may see in the future. <laughs> I'd rather it be the way that it is, but with a twilly. I just think the twilly gives it so much class. And I like that it's obviously protecting the handles at the same time. If you guys saw my Hermes journey being over video, which again will be linked in the cards, I gave a list of reasons as to why I do not plan, or at that point, I did not plan on buying any Hermes bag. If you remember in that video, I did say that I was never willing to spend like two times the price of a Birkin or a Kelly or three times the price of a Birkin or a Kelly in order to get one. I did buy this on the resale market, by the way. I got this from the Purse Affair. Highly recommend the Purse Affair. I had really no problems with them at all. It was a very easy, seamless. I cannot recommend them enough. You know, I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see her. Looking all cute. Oh, she's so cute. I am not willing and was not willing and still will never be willing to spend two times, three times the price of Birkin or Kelly in order to get one. But if you guys have been paying attention to the resale market recently, things are looking real good for us buyers. I was able to secure this bag and pretty much any bag that you will see in the future, unless I tell you otherwise, at almost exactly the retail price. Anything that you're trying to buy, like pre-loved, this is the time, you guys. And I know I'm not the only one to say it. I know everybody who is in this, like, luxury space has been saying it but this is a buyer's market i've been taking advantage of that <laughs> real hard i've been taking you're gonna see you're gonna see i've been taking real hard advantage of that i really wanted a pink bag i think i said rose extreme is my favorite which i still absolutely adore that color but i went with rose confetti which by the way not the easiest color to find let me tell you not the easiest thing i've ever done i went with rose confetti 
because I felt like it was just a perfect like mid-tone pink. If you guys remember, I had had with a D a mini rectangle from Chanel in like this mid-tone rosy pink. And I would say that that pink was probably a little more like mauve. Like this one's a little more bubblegum compared to that one. But I do feel like this is just like the perfect like middle ground. It's not like rose sakura, but it's not rose extreme or like even rose azalea. I feel like it's a little bit a little bit much for what i wanted for like my pink birkin so that is why i went with rose confetti i think it's the most perfect color ever that's why i actually revealed it first is because i was wearing this one like crazy so i said you know let me just reveal this one first because this is the one that i'm gonna post the most pictures with i took this actually over and i went to the hamptons a couple months ago and i only took this bag it was like a weekend trip like three four days i think we went and I only took this bag and I wore it every single day and it was like, it matched everything that I brought. It was just perfect. And I did go for a Birkin 31st because I just like the size of the Birkin 30. In my opinion, the size 30 is just the perfect size. And I would have like 900 Birkin 30s if I could. Like they're just, they're so good. By the way, it came with an insert from 7RP. <laughs> I did not purchase this. It came with the insert. I really questioned whether or not I was going to be a Birkin girl or a Kelly girl. Like I was so into Chanel that I just felt like, would I even like these Hermes bags? Let me tell you, I will. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Once I had my first one, which like I said, is not technically this one. This is just the one that I reveal first. <laughs> once I had my first one and once I was wearing my first one, I was like, listen, it's a whole different experience. It's a whole different ball game. And yeah, so that's that. That's who I've become. And I know everyone on YouTube is always like, don't become like one of those people who just collect hair. Listen, you're not gonna tell me what to do, okay? Cause that's who I am now. That's what I did. That's that's what's happening. This was supposed to be my low buy year. This was my low buy year. This was like the highest buy year of all the years. But the reason that this even happened is because earlier in the year, probably around May, something like pretty, aggressive and traumatic happened to me something happened to me where like my health was like not well my mind was not like I, I was i was in the darkest place i had ever 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 been in i said i don't i don't i'm just gonna do whatever because at this at the point that i was at i don't know if this makes any sense like i felt like i just had nothing to lose it was just my life was in shambles and i was just like okay <laughs> let's go get a bargain and that's what i did and after that it just snowballed that is it for this unboxing definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think about my bag my perfect perfect bag i love it so much like i said stay tuned there are so many unboxings to come let me know in the comments actually how do you want me to structure this like do you want me to do a, a one unboxing a month do you want me to just do all the unboxings like just have a string of unboxings because i could do that too i I don't know. I mean, you guys let me know. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there. Not so much these days. I post every single day on my stories. Also, I would like you to let me know if you have shopped in any of the Hermes boutiques in New York or New Jersey. Let me know in the comments what is up, okay? What's your sales associate like? You don't gotta tell me names because I know they don't like that. But do I need to shop at your store? Do I need to shop? Like, where do I need to go? Okay. I'm thinking Madison, right? Because they would have the most stock. Hear me out on this. But they would also have the most competition. So does that mean I should go to Meatpacking? Should I go to Short Hills, American Dream Mall? Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any type of experience. Okay. If you really like strongly believe that one boutique is better than the other, let me know. But like I said, I'm done. I'm wrapping this up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So if you guys want to see my first Hermes Umber Umberkin. Wow. Wow.